Hello, my name is Hector. Welcome to a mod pack spotlight of the mod rats. Look at all these critters running around. You can see <laughs> I've got them on my head. I've got a chef on my shoulder. This is an excellent new uh, mod by Alex, won the 1666. Uh, all the links will be in the description. And this is just a cool little mod at the moment, but I'm hoping for like a lot more stuff. Oh, there's a... a <laughs> A dangerous, a dangerous rat there at the moment. Uh, but let's have a look what you can do with this mod rats. So, like most mobs, rats spawn pretty much wherever, but they spawn at night, just like hostile mobs. And they can get into your chest, they can bury through wood. So, you need stone houses to protect yourself from these rats. And also, they can get through fences. So, if we look at this... There you go, and they can steal crops. They go off. Look at that. Oh, uh, the animations are rather excellent. It's going to come back and do that as well. There you go. And there you go. You can see they can get right through fences, which makes total sense. So, uh, to get rid of them, you will need rat traps and cheese. Uh, we'll go over how to get cheese in a second, but if we put that cheese down, uh, look away if you're feeling a little bit... There you go. A little bit bad. And there you go, you get you get some uh well you get some raw rat which you can use you can use and you can cook it basically and then eat it. Sometimes you get some rat pelt as well, which is rather good, because you can make leather out of that, which is pretty great. So how do we make cheese? Well, you need to get some milk, put it into a cauldron, and then wait. Very, very simple, and uh, nice and simple, like really easy, really, really easy. There you go, and you get yourself a block of cheese. Then you just put it into a crafting table, and you get, you get actual cheese. Now, how do, how do we tame them? Because obviously this mod is about taming them and then setting them to work. All you need to do is just throw cheese at them. Uh, and it will take, I don't know, like 5 to 11 pieces, and there you go. And we you can see the hearts, they are now, they are now tamed. They are now tamed, you can see this is the inventory. So you get to the inventory just by right-clicking on them. As per usual, you can see this is a male. Um, these are the three slots, so that is in like an armor slot, so like uh, you can basically put, well, a helmet on there and this is the upgrade slot and this is the food slot so you could put like some cheese in there for them to eat if you just put cheese in there they will just eat it though and um, like they will they will <laughs> they will just burn through the cheese there you go look at that they will just go through it so that's not what it's there for it's there for them to do things like that oh they'll eat that as well that is new i didn't realize they would so there you go so if they're <laughs> If you haven't set them to do anything, they will just do that. Now, you can see there's the current command and then the status, and this is what you can do. So we can set them to hunt prey, gather items, transport items, and wander. Wander is basically they're free to run around as it pleases. That is the, the kind of default state they're in when they're untamed as well, and then stay here. Uh, so to pick them up, what you can do is if you press Shift and then right-click, um, you can see... We, we've now got them. Where are they? Well, they are on our head. <laughs> How great is that? And you could see there to uh, put them down again. You can basically sneak and punch the air and that will set them down. Now, you can also make one of these cages and put them in there. And if you put a man and a woman in a cage, male and female, you can see you get rat babies. You get rat babies. That is how you breed them. There are some different colours. So you could breed them for different colours. Uh, just be careful. Be careful because I, I left all of these. I've not actually seen like one of these little babies go into like an adult because I left a cage of rats and then that is how I got so many raw rat and raw uh, rat pelts. So I'm guessing that when they grow up they might, I don't know, they, they, I don't know, there's some meanness happening. So just be careful of that, be aware of that. And that is sort of what you can do. But that is how you do that. Uh, to get a rat out, basically uh, just just click on it and then you can basically just put it back in again. So click to get that out uh, and then shift click to put it on you and then back into a cage. That is sort of how you do that. Now, what can we do with the rats is a good question. We've got Gavin here, so you can name them and you need uh, a cheese staff. You make a cheese staff just by having cheese on a stick, basically. Uh, now, Gavin, 
Gavin has got this on the uh, upgrade platter. We'll transfer entire stacks of items at a time. You can only have one upgrade at a time. So that is a bit of a limit, bit of a limit. So what we do is shift click and you can see staff is now bound to Gavin. What we can do then, we'll no longer deposit, uh, set to deposit, can I? Yes, there we go. So shift, yeah, there you go. So shift click for that and then just normally click, I'm guessing, yes, there we go. And you can see, look at that. And that is because it's going really fast. So you can see it's basically taking one at a time. Just like that. Is that not the craziest thing <laughs> that you've ever seen in Minecraft? Go on, Gavin, you go. Now, right, let's, can I, there we go. Uh, let's take you out. And that is the that is the normal speed. There you go. There we go. And let's put the rat upgrade. And you can see it's got a platter now. So it uses the entire like the platter to take an entire stack at a time, which is rather great. Let's just do a few more. There we go. But how great is that? So that is how you can so shift to set the initial shift and click to set the initial chest and then just normally click and then clicking again or shift clicking again will set it to uh, undo. And that is how that works. How great is that though? That is such a cool and different mechanic. Rats, what a great little mod. So there you go. Well done, Gavin. Well done, you. Now, this here, a uh, unnamed rat, unnamed rat. I've got going to get them to uh, gather items and what that does is basically they will start breaking grass they will start breaking grass in uh and well, they will <laughs> i actually found this rat like way over there at one point it was continually trying to find more grass to bring home so basically the same thing what you want to do shift click with your cheese staff there you go and then uh set to take items uh no longer take items we'll deposit uh deposit there you go so clicking to deposit shift clicking to uh to take items from chest that's what it seems to do um so there we go so we've got gavin let's set you to um to, to gather 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 there we go gather items <laughs> and there you go that's what it does how great is that so you could basically easily get yourself a little flower farm and a seed farm it's pretty nice and modded especially at the beginning when in modded often you just end up needing like so many seeds for everything and look at that just you get a little friendly rat to do all your bidding for you now the next thing we can do is get them to hunt prey and you can see this guy has got a diamond helmet we've also upgraded it up rat upgrade warrior 40 base rat health 12 base rat armor and 10 base rat attack and uh, this is quite expensive as you can see so there's the upgrade armor there's the strength upgrade and hearts upgrade along with a lot of diamonds so fairly good there's also the five base rat attack uh, upgrade as well this is i think the best way to do it so what you can do uh, here is basically it will just go around and look for mobs to kill uh, essentially and it, it will do both types of mobs both passive and hostile um so let's set it to oh there we go hunt prey there we go let's let's give it some prey there we go there we go and it should it should you know are you not are you not gonna bring that oh okay sometimes it does there you go oh Ooh, okay. I've not seen it do that yet with a creeper. Oh, that is interesting. That is very interesting. <laughs> How's our rat doing? Pretty, pretty well. Pretty well. Okay. So, oh, oh, look at that. It ate it just before it even got there. Okay. It does bring stuff. In my previous attempts, like you can see with the chicken and uh, pork chop, it did actually bring stuff uh, to the chest. So again, I set it up with the cheese staff to put stuff in here. But that is rather fun. Now, there is also this, the Rat Upgrade Battle God, which is hugely expensive, as, as you can see. But I would like to see this take on uh, a wither at some point. I think that would be an interesting. I wonder how many Battle God rats you need to take down a wither. I kind of don't want to spoil the surprise. Go play with the mod and find out yourself. And how could we possibly have a rats mod without some sort of reference 
to Ratatouille. So what we've got here is we've got the rat upgrade chef. Rat will cook held items and then it unlocks a special ability, the Confit Bialdi, which is another Ratatouille reference. Well, Confit Bialdi is apparently a different type of Ratatouille, uh, which we have here. Although I don't know how this fits in. I haven't been able to work that out. I don't know if it needs another mod uh, or maybe I just haven't found the secret. I'm not sure, but uh, you, I just put this chef hat on. To make this, you can see you, you actually need a chef's hat and quite a lot of golden apples as well. Um, but basically, what you do is you can put something in there and then it, it basically smelts it. It cooks it, um, but it, it, it does look like... And there's a little bit of a bug, in at least in creative, where it, it duplicates items at the moment. Um, now, this is obviously... I. I I you can't at the moment it seems and you, you can see it doesn't it doesn't do anything. I'm guessing if maybe it was set it to follow it might yes. Um, are you gonna give me it? Are you gonna give me it? No. Maybe if we put a chest down. Um, let's see. Put a chest down. Um, are you gonna put stuff in there? You're going to put stuff in there? It doesn't look like it. So I've tried various things. I thought I'd just try again quickly. Um, but this the, the chef rat doesn't seem to want to uh, cooperate with chess, which is a little bit of a shame. I'm guessing that might come in future. But there is... There's a good overview of rats in its current state. It is a really cool little mod. Uh, I hope to see a lot more with it and more stuff get added. <laughs> they will not stay still. Um, no, 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 stay... There we go. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this. Go check out Rats because it's a cool little mod. Maybe add it to a mod pack and see what you can do with it. Uh, I've been Hector. This has been the Rats mod. Hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.